Hi there and welcome to my channel. Today's project is for the Vicky Boutine Design Team and this week I'm creating a project that came together really fast that is super simple and that is going to take advantage of one of the new cut files that Vicky just released. For that you have to go onto her website and that's vickybootin.com and subscribe to the newsletter and this is one of the free cut files. And I actually cut it out of um, foundation paper. I use my silhouette cameo. I use a cover stock setting. So it is actually you're going to have to push your blade to 10 I believe and it's going to cut really slow. So to cut this it took me 20 minutes but the cut came out really clean and I love how this turned out. And it actually you gotta send it send it to double setting so you gotta make sure that it cuts so what i'm gonna use out of this cut file i love the fact that it has um it's like two borders with lines so i know exactly where my pictures are gonna sit and i pull these pictures i have so many my god this is my niece i'm maybe three months old and she cried a lot and i mean she cried a lot this is pretty much the standard picture from her at that age. She just has her fingers in her mouth or she's crying and I love it because I just love pictures of my niece when she's being kind of silly and this is one of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the color of her bathing suit. This is on my brother-in-law's birthday party. Super hot. The kids had a little pool outside and she just cried the entire time. I just had to remember that because it was so funny. But all I'm doing is I'm mixing a little bit of uh, our crayon uh, just to pick up the color of the dress. So I have a little bit of light blue and a little bit of the darker blue and a little bit of teal. So all I'm going to do is scribble that on a piece of acrylic. Actually, I have a piece of plastic and this is from the foundation paper cover. I'm going to dilute it with water and then I'm going to use my brayer to apply it. I'm going to place the cut file kind of a slant so i'm going to make sure that i add enough uh, of the watercolor and it's very simple very thin layer just so that it covers the flowers and it peeks from the outside of the cut file that's about it and i'm actually right now going to set it aside to dry once it dried, I'm going to bring the prism glaze. And the prism glaze has the exact tone of her bathing suit. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use it. And this is a more of a fluid glaze. So it's um, just to keep that in mind, if you just are new to the prism glaze, uh, I'm going to dilute it with just a tiny little bit of water to create watercolor. And I'm actually going to use one of the stamps. This is stamp, if I'm not mistaken, is either from... Hmm, I believe this stamp is from Color Kaleidoscope and I want to take the flower just because it reminds me of the flower that it is on the kit and the no in the let's wonder in the let's wonder collection one and also because it reminds me of the flower my niece has on the bathing suit and all i'm going to do is use the watercolor that i create as my pigment to stamp so you're going to see that i'm lightly gonna touch the stamp onto the watercolor and then i'm just gonna literally stamp it on top of the of the watercolor that i had paying attention to mostly stamps in the areas outside of the center Think of, of that little blob as a circle and I don't want to stamp on the center because I'm going to put my picture there, but I want to put it on the outside. Think of it as having the shadows of flowers in the background. That's all I want. So I stamped with the small and the medium sized florals and uh, very little, not much. I'm going to set it aside to dry for a little bit and then I'm going to come in and actually create a little bit of accents of the colors that my niece has on her bathing suit. So there's a lot of fuchsia and purple. So I'm just using a fuchsia um, and the purple crayon. I'm going to use a little bit of iridescent glaze. You're going to see that I'm going to dilute it. I'm going to scribble the crayon, sorry, on my mat. I'm going to dilute them and mix them with a little bit of the iridescent glaze. And all I'm going to do is add splatters of the two colors around the flowers that I just stamped. That's pretty much all my background. Like I said, I wanted something that it was just gonna create that shadow so that the cut file is gonna stand out because I love florals and the cut file was awesome. And the fact that it just left that empty space in the middle, I just had this idea of putting my niece's picture of her so happy that it was just ideal for this. Now, right now, because I still have that liquid and to bring more of that 
purple and the pink that I just added I'm actually gonna use it to detail the word you using the chipboard from the let's wonder collection so the way I'm gonna add the watercolor on this is I'm gonna use the purple color at the bottom of the letters and I'm gonna be sure to just carefully paint the inside outline of the word you just with the purple from the half towards the bottom and then i'm going to come in with a fuchsia tone from the top half just color the top half uh, you're going to see that i'm going to take it off camera a little bit because the, the way i position the camera you're going to see a lot of my hair and my hair is not doing funny things right now because it's just growing i need a hairstylist and it's just doing funny things so i'm going to cut a little bit out because i love i don't like my hair right now so you know and nothing nothing against you know it's just my hair look really stupid right now sorry about that so i took that part and i uh, didn't realize that i actually cut a little piece of the cut of the process video when i did that and what i did is i used the word wonderful that comes in the cut file and i actually painted it with prism glaze that's the only thing that i cut from this uh, that little part so all I'm doing right now is that it's completely dry. I added a little bit of foam adhesive behind the um, cut file just to make it stand out. And then I'm going to use papers from the Let's Wonder collection, especially some with that pink tone. So I pull out the 6x8 paper pad because that paper is that pink paper is only available in the 6x8 paper pad and then I'm going to use one of the cut apart the 3x4 to back the other picture and uh, I'm going to bring something with teal just to bring the outfit once I put them together I actually back the two pieces of uh, um, not the two pieces sorry the two pictures together with that that uh, pattern paper that has the little flowers kind of a rainbow um, looks like rainbow asterisk so I backed them together and glued them on the center of the of the of the cut file so you didn't miss much and now I'm going to take advantage of those big flowers that come in the let's wonder collection and some of the leaves just because I want to bring the colors and I think because of the flowers in the cut file it actually can balance everything so I'm going to place them at the corners of the pictures like I said I painted the wonderful with a little bit of the prism glaze and all I'm gonna do right now is just glue it onto the bottom of the cut file followed by the the word you then the one that I painted with um, the mixture of the iridescent glaze and the art crayon once I have that in place and like I said, the whole point of this is because I just love the cut file. I want it to be the, the centerpiece. Is I'm going to add just a few details. One of the things I'm going to use are these little shiny buttons. I don't even want to try to or attempt to pronounce it because one, English is my second language and I don't want people to make fun of me. So those beautiful shiny pink buttons in the collection they're gonna go in the clusters and then i wanted to bring something that's gonna bring quite a bit of movement you're gonna see that i add a few stickers not much um and then to just bring some movement to this i consider adding some of the butterflies that come in the let's wonder collection but I had a lot of craft and navy and i didn't want that i wanted something really light for this layer so i went and pulled the butterfly paper from the wildflower and honey collection and it's that vellum paper that has the beautiful watercolor butterflies with the gold uh, foiling so i'm gonna a fussy cut around three of them i'm actually gonna try to find ones that have pink and that have teal and that match um, the colors that i have on the background you're gonna see right now that i'm just adding a few stickers it's mostly from the tablet um and then just because i added those black fray stickers i'm gonna add another one at the bottom of the title and then that little flower comes from the cardstock stickers from the let's wonder collection here's when i'm just gonna take the butterflies i'm gonna cut three and actually gonna cut them in three different sizes a small a medium and a large just because i want to make sure to balance it on the page so you're going to see right now that i'm going to add the largest butterfly right on top of that big teal flower or mint the yeah, teal flower just because it's about the same size the medium one is going to go right next to the pink flower again 
a perfect color that has a lot of teal in it so it's going to balance the pink that i have one and the smaller one i'm actually going to add it to the top of the wonderful title and that's just going to create a triangle and creates the movement and the sizing goes well the only thing that i don't like is the long black um title or that, that phrase strip at the bottom of the title it's just kind of disproportion so i'm going to take it off and that was from the chipboard stickers and instead i'm going to bring just a small phrase sticker from the tablet i believe that just says yes and i'm actually going to glue it right in the middle of the o so that it doesn't uh, kind of throw off the proportion of uh, the the title and once i have that i'm actually going to write my lines with journal right underneath the title i'm gonna add just a few uh words because this is most likely gonna go in my niece's um yeah in my niece's album so i'll write another note and just clip it after and that's about it i love how this turned out it took me 45 minutes to put together love it what took me the longest was to cut the card file it took me around 22 minutes but i love how this turned out super easy if you have questions do not hesitate to contact me i would love to help you don't forget to check out vicky staff remember you have to go to the website to subscribe for the newsletter to be able to get but you can find the card file there in the uh, card file section thank you so much for joining me and take care guys